In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade features on the Bybit exchange. And above all, I'm equally going to teach you a strategy you can use to grow $10 into $1,000 trading features on the Bybit exchange. Okay, I made a video previously on how to turn $10 into a million dollars in one year trading crypto. And I equally share that example with Bybit exchange and I started it. Okay, in that video, I started it. And as you can see here currently, all right, the ten dollars I've been trading with has I've been able to grow that to around this fifty-one dollars that you're seeing here. So everything you need to know about trading features on the Bybit exchange is what I'll be teaching you in this video. And as a bonus tip, I'm going to give everyone who signs up with my Bybit link, okay, in the video description. If you sign up with my Bybit link, I'm going to give you an opportunity to get claim an airdrop of ten dollars, okay, which you can use to open a position worth five hundred USDT on BTC okay so you can either decide to open a long position or a short position and whatever profit you make in that you can keep 100 percent of it to yourself all right for you to qualify for that you need to sign up with the link i've provided in the video description okay so with that being said let's jump into the video now if you don't have a bybit account once again just sign up with the link in the video description and you qualify to claim the airdrop all right so once you log into your bybit account okay you want to go ahead and click on derivatives all right so once you click on derivatives it brings you to this page all right so here on the derivatives page we have trade and then we have chart so i'm currently on the btc usdt chart all right so if i want to look at the chart itself before i take a trade i can go ahead and click on the chart so it gives you this chart here so this is what you're looking at and on the chart here you see that um the candlesticks you see your time frame here okay you can switch from any time frame of your choice to the ones you want okay and you can equally click on this uh, pencil icon to make this full screen on your phone okay then here you have all of the indicators that come with the um, mobile app okay so um currently i have the bollinger bands activated and then i equally have the rsi activated so anyone that is activated you see it highlighted so I have the RSI, which is this line you're seeing here activated, and then the Bollinger Bands, which is this one you're seeing here activated. So any of these, if you want to activate the MACD, go ahead and click on it. Any of these indicators you see down here that you want to activate, you can click on it. Okay, once you click on it, it comes up to the chart. If you click on it again, it goes off. All right, so you can use this to monitor your chart. If you know how to use these indicators, you can actually use them to make good decisions in the market and use it to... You know start trading so i use rsi very often okay i use it to see overboard and oversold level in uh, you know and then i accompany that with the polling japans all right but i'm going to show you how to use trading view to actually um some indicators that gives you buy and sell signal on trading view to make um you know take accurate decisions okay so once you're okay you look at the chart you analyze your chart the next thing is to come to the trade so on the trade option here you can either decide to buy long that is if you see that the market is going up you can buy or long the market okay if the market is going down you can short or you sell the market okay now before we start trading proper there are some settings that you need to adjust okay on your buy bid exchange so to be able to adjust those settings all you just need to do is to click on these three dots here okay so once you click on those three dots you see where it says trading preferences okay just click on it if I click on the trading preferences here on the position mode, this is what I want you to adjust. Okay, I want to change it from one way to edge mode. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on the edge, the one way here, and then change it to you know the edge mode. The reason for this is if I do one way, okay, I can only be opening if I want to open a long position for BTC, I can only open long position until i close that position i cannot open a, a position in the opposite direction okay but when you use edge mode you can actually open both long and short position at the same time so that is why i prefer using this and i like using this when i'm in a position in a in a, um, a trade already and maybe the market is going against me once i'm confident that that market will still reverse back and go in my direction i can use edge mode to actually support okay open a short position immediately and see that I secure profit for myself while I wait for the overall position, which is the other way around. Okay, so once you change it to edge mode, you want to leave every other settings the way it is. Okay, um, just adjust this and then you go back to the trading interface. 
all right so once we adjust those settings the next thing uh, you need to um, take into consideration is once you select the pairs you want to trade okay i love trading btc once you select the pairs you want to trade you want to select okay the margin mode okay so i normally do 10x leverage i don't use very high leverage so 10x leverage is enough for me so you can decide to do cross or you do isolated whatever your option you choose here is left to you so for isolated when you use isolated if i uh, open a trade what hundred dollar i mean that i'm risking only that hundred dollars so even if i don't put stop loss when i get liquidated it is only that hundred dollars i will lose but when i use the cross mode and i have a thousand dollars in my account and i open a position worth hundred dollars okay the that particular trade will be trading with the whole one thousand dollars in my trading account so it means that if i don't put stop loss and i get liquidated i will lose a thousand dollars okay so why isolated is only that funds you are trading with cross trades with the whole of your account balance okay. so once you adjust the leverage the way you want them and the rest okay just go ahead and click on save all right and that will be saved on your account okay so if you want to open a position we go to the uh, open position option if you want to close a position we use the close position option and then for the other type on buy bid we have limit we have market and then we have conditional okay for limit you specify the price at which you want to enter the market with now if you're using a limit order and you want to open a long position the price must always be lower than okay the current price in the market because if you use a price that is higher than the current price in the market it will use market order to execute the order immediately for you all right then for market order it is the current market order you are using then for conditional once you click on the conditional if i go ahead and click on it just as the name implies okay you are placing a conditional order all right in the order book so what it means is that currently the price now is um 23647 so you can go ahead and click that you want to long this market when it gets to 27 or 24,000. okay that that will be the trigger price and then you now set a limit price so when the price goes up to twenty four thousand, you want to enter the market maybe when it retraces back to around let's say twenty three nine hundred okay so you want to place a limit order so that when it comes down to that limit okay which you have set up the trade will be triggered you can use it for both long and you know short position and the rest all right so then here the balance you have this slider you are seeing down here okay if i select this slider to be 100 percent, it's going to use the whole of the balance i have here if i make it 20 percent, 50 percent, it will use 50 percent of the balance i have on my account all right or you can just manually type the amount of btc you want to trade or any of the pairs you selected here you just manually type it there all right and then when you are going to open a trade you see where it said um, set take profit and stop losses you can actually set this before opening the trade okay so it said i should enter quantity so i can go ahead and enter the quantity i want all right and then enter a price let me go back to limit all right let me go back to the limit or that so once i enter a price i can enter a quantity then i can now click on the set take profit all right so you can type the price you want to take your profit and then the price you want to set your stop loss or you can use this percentage here if the market increases by 10 percent 25 percent 50 percent you want to take profit so i can go ahead and select 50 percent and then select five percent if it goes down if it goes against me by five percent i want to close the trade if it goes in my favor by 50 percent i want to take profit after that, i just click on confirm all right and then you can then decide to either open a long position or open a short position it all depends on what you want all right if it is a limit order you will see if it is a limit order you will see your order on the order book here okay but once it is triggered immediately you will see them all on your position and if you want to look at the history of your trades you can click here on all to see the history of all of the trades you have taken okay so these are your other books for you know those who are using limit order all right for market makers so for those who are you know selling for those who are buying you see all of the other books it means that if you use a limit order to place your order your order will be here and when it gets to your turn your order will be executed okay so up here is where you see the funding fee count down okay in the next 30 or 40 minutes or thereabout there will be funding fee for those of you who trade perpetual contract okay so up here I did mention this up here is usdt perpetual it means that you need to have usdt to be able to trade on the usdt perpetual if you have usdc then you should select usdc and use that to trade okay then if you want to trade in vast um, or the option style of trading you can go ahead and click on it but our focus is just on the uh, usdt perpetual contract 
okay because we are trading with usdt and we want to get our profit in usdt as well now this is everything you need to know about the buy bid um, features trading on the mobile app all right so as i said earlier instead of using the chart here on buy bid i do my chatting on trading view so you need a trading view app you can actually sign up for one if you don't have a uh, account already sign up for one using the link in the video description now when you sign up for trading view account okay um you are going to get an app like this all right but here on the watch list i've customized it to you know all of these crypto pairs you can use this um trading view app to chat for forex stock all of those okay but i've customized it to be for only my um, crypto trading okay um pairs here that is what i have here all right so here on the watch list you can add all of the pairs you want to be on your watch list and then here on the chart is where we do all of the chatting all right so on trading if i come to the chat i do have some indicator this is how the chart looks like all right but i have some indicators that i can accompany this with so one of these one of the indicators that i use here is the ut bot alert so i just go ahead and toggle that on so once i toggle it on this is what you see on your chart depending on the time frame okay irrespective of the time frame you are trading with you will always see the buy and sell signals always showing up on the chart okay look at it you see all of these buy and sell signals when the market is in an uptrend it gives you a buy signal when it is in a downtrend okay it gives you a sell signal all right so you can use this on its own but i do accompany this with one more indicator which is the echo indicator by lux argo okay so this is the indicator just go ahead and toggle this on so once i toggle that on what the echo indicator does that it gives you all of this okay it gives you a focus of what should happen or what will happen in the future it's like predicting what will happen in the future which you see um according to the indicator that this market will retrace a bit and then go up and go up okay as you can see the line here the market will retrace and go up sometimes i use this to accompany this um ut bot alert all right if the youtube border alert gives me a sell signal all right and these candlesticks are trading okay at the top here here is just at the middle so i will not take any decision now so once it's trading at the top and i get the buy signal and all the candlesticks are in green and i see the echo focus indicator telling me that the price will go up i'll just go ahead and take that signal okay on my account so i just go ahead and take the signal and that um has often pl played that okay these are of, of, often played that and another thing you should take note of is follow the overall trend of the market okay if the market is in an uptrend follow it uh, always take buy signals and if the market is in a downtrend always take sell signal i have step-by-step -step video tutorials on all of these indicators on my channel if you are new you want to subscribe okay once you go to the playlist of the trading strategy you will see some of these indicators there and how to use them Okay, and equally have a step by step video on how to use trading view or both on the app and on the system so you want to make sure you see those videos to be able to help you all right so that is all i needed to share with you in this video once again if you are new to the channel consider subscribing okay hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you want to learn more okay if you want to learn more you can join my telegram group using the link in the video description once you sign up for a buy bid account using my link do let me know on the chat on the telegram chat okay and i will send you the link to claim the free airdrop that you can use to start growing your trading account that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video